Hello, Mark. Right now, I want to give a shout out to all y'all respiratory therapists out there. You see, a lot of people who are not in the medical profession think that respiratory therapists just give breathing treatments. Giving breathing treatments is actually the easiest part of an RT's job. Now, some might argue that giving an incentive spirometer is the easiest part of the job, but I would have to disagree. Because every time you try to educate a patient on an incentive spirometer, you walk into the room and they're like, oh, I already know how to do that. I've had one of those before. So you give it to them and they go, <laughs> let me just say that blowing on your incentive spirometer is not proper hyperinflation therapy. You ain't gonna pop no alveolized open by blowing on your incentive spirometer. It requires sucking in. You gotta suck it. Respiratory therapists spend more time telling people to suck it and blow it than anybody else in any other profession. They are professionals at sticking their tubes into your holes. And by tubes, I mean nasotracheal, endotracheal, and tracheal. That's the only holes an RT is messing with, all right? RTs work from the belly button up. From belly button down is a nurse's territory. If an RT walks up to a patient's door and they can smell a code brown from the door, they will visually inspect the patient and say, yes, they look like they are breathing. Okay, let me get your nurse to help clean your booty up. Because RTs suck snot. They don't mess with no doo-doos. Speaking of suctioning, there is a respiratory therapist at a hospital somewhere right now that is suctioning out a nasty secretion field trach and as they're doing it a patient is coughing and spewing trach juice all over them that's just a typical day respiratory therapists have to deal with some of the most hard-headed patients and i'm talking about smokers smokers are hard-headed have a smoker come into the hospital with a copd exacerbation they stay in there for a week you finally get them good to go they're healthy enough to go home give them their smoking cessation papers you educate them on why smoking is bad for the 15th time then you discharge them you look out the hospital winter you see them out there waiting for the ride holding their smoking cessation paper in one hand and smoking a cigarette with the other. Respiratory therapists also control the life support machines or ventilators as we like to call them in the medical world. I mean, I ain't gonna get all technical, but respiratory therapists just have to know little things, you know, like minute ventilations, tidal volumes, respiratory rate, plateau pressures, peak pressures, ideal body weights, A to A gradients, static compliance, dynamic compliance, you know, just small, simple things. And it ain't easy doing a vent check when you got family looking over your shoulder saying, well, what's that number right there? Well, what's that little zigzaggy line? Which one of them numbers up there is my mama's O2 stat? It ain't O2 stat, okay? It's O2 sat, which stands for saturation. You got a patient that's kicking and flailing all in the bed trying to self-extubate. You ask the doctor for some sedation. You're hoping for propofol. They order 0. .0005 milligrams of Versed. Finally get the patient rested. They laying down and they calm. You got family members in there. Mama, mama, talk to me. Mama, look at me. Mama, will you just look at me? Or will you shut up and let her sleep? And ABGs. You can't forget about ABGs. Nurses, they stick veins. RTs stick arteries. For some reason, doctors love to order ABGs on little Little old ladies with dementia talking about, well, she seems a little lethargic today. We need to do an ABG. Well, of course she's lethargic. She's 80 and she's got sundowners, but they want the ABG anyways. So now not only do you have to do an ABG on a little old lady with weak pulses, but you have to do it on a little old lady that's going to be swinging at you. And she might be 80 pounds soaking wet, but she has the right hook of Mike Tyson. I don't know about you, but I find it pretty difficult to stick an ABG while getting swung at. So anybody out there that thought an RT's job was easy, you wrong. It ain't easy. I want to thank all y'all RT's out there for what y'all do. Y'all are awesome. God bless y'all. I love you. Forgot my spacer.